Hi, it's Kim, and we're here from supplements.co.nz, and I'm here with Jace and Maya. Hi, guys. And we're talking about some of the Pharma Freak products, and one of the new ones we got in the store is the Rip Freak Protein, and it's a really cool new product. And Maya's going to tell us a little bit about the highlights of why, you know, why would I want a thermogenic protein? Sure, sure. Um, protein's very popular uh, for a number of reasons, so we would only need to dwell on those, but what's different about it? Uh, it does use a um, an assorted number of proteins. So you've got your fast ways, followed by your slower casins. That's also not, you know, a lot of products do that already. But what they do is they throw in some decent um, fat loss aids. So instead of like what I call pixie dusting, a little bit of caffeine in there and maybe, if you're lucky, some L-carnitine, uh, and they try and play it off as a, as a fat loss product. These guys have made the extra step to go, Okay, what actually addresses this? And they're very lucky to have their Rip Freak formula. They can take some of the non-stimulant aids out of and put in here and then soup it up with a couple of extra um, non-stimulant aids as well. The reason I keep saying non-stimulant is that with protein, you wouldn't be able to take it any time of the day, even in the evening, and you don't want stimulants that will keep you awake. So those are very powerful earlier in the day to produce the key hormones and good pre-workout to make you expend more energy and, and get better results. Uh, but to address uh, quality protein sources, uh, there's about 20 odd grams of protein per scoop minimum, so that's equivalent to sort of you know, four or five whole eggs without all the fat and cholesterol. Uh, it tastes fiber. like yummy flavour, yeah, like chocolate, it's very, strawberry, very drinkable milk. in water. You don't need to use your milk. Um, so the, the sort of things they throw in the extra, so you can expect to see things like uh, CLA, uh, which is a, a standalone product you can buy individually, L carnitine, which will assist with fatty acids to the mont to the muscles to burn for energy. Uh, you've got your red raspberry ketones, again, the same thing they use in the Rip Freak formula. You're almost extending a lot of the aspects that are in the Rip Freak pre, uh, uh, fat burner alongside with your protein without affecting your, you know, without doubling up on stimulants. There'd be nothing worse if this was full of caffeine and you've had your Rip Freak and then you drop this in and it doubles up. You're not going to get that effect. So they're very, very smart about that. Nice, nice. And so this is this is a product is really good as well. If, like someone's on a budget, you know what I mean. If they're getting like kind of two products in one, you know, oh, you're yeah, getting the protein to help repair the muscle tissue. Definitely. As so well. if someone's core and, goal is you know, they want to come in and they want to be able to recover from training, maybe they don't even train, but they want something that's going to be useful as a snack meal on the go. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to benefit them from a weight loss standpoint. So if you're in the weight management category, and you're not even active, and you want something that you can have little frequent snacks, because most people will know that protein of your three macronutrients, fat, carbs and protein, protein is very difficult to A, convert into um, energy or fat. So therefore, you can control your appetite, you can um, address um, your needs of recovery if you're doing any kind of exercise, plus you're giving yourself the thermogenic benefits to actually burn more calories doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's very effective for that. And so a question we get sometimes in store, from a lot of people, they go, ah, oh, is there BCAAs in this protein? <laughs> yes. We get that quite often. Yes, a lot of brands suffer from that. So, because they use whey and a bunch of other typically dairy products, dairy is extremely high in BCAAs. So, uh, whey protein, which makes up more than half of this product, is very naturally high in BCAAs. So, you could expect to get three to five grams of BCAAs in a scoop. You yeah. could purchase uh, BCAAs in tablet form, and you're probably lucky to get a gram or so in them. So that's another, like, good, I'm glad you raised that, it's like another ingredient or product put inside again to save you money. Yeah. Sweet. Right on. And so, like, talking about some of the ingredients in particular, like, what's something like L-carnitine, what, what's that going to do for somebody who takes it? So, typically, especially if you're dieting, you're very, very low on it. Someone who's got an abundance of things like cheese in that in their diet may be already getting enough L-carnitine, but as you can understand, that offsets the whole benefit of You wouldn't want to be eating cheese, too much cheese if no, you were like as much as I like cheese, yeah. doesn't really fit in the getting lean cycle. So mm -hmm. uh, again, you can buy it standalone, they incorporate it into this product as well, and it just helps escort the uh, fatty acids, they call to, let's not get too technical, but the mitochondria, the parts yeah. of the muscle, the, the, the powerhouses of the muscle to help use it as an energy source. Yeah. So that's one of them. They also use things like MCT, uh, medium cha chain triglycerides, another fancy word for a type of fat, but it's very easy to burn, it's as easy to burn like a carbohydrate. 
So instead of adding carbohydrates to flavour it, they give it nice body texture and taste by using those types which are very easy to burn, again all in the name of losing body fat. CLA was another one we talked about, again with the right dosage you can get um, accelerated fat loss from a non-stimulant point of view. But the reason I keep saying non-stimulant is you can incorporate them if you want because you'll get accelerated rates, uh, results again. But those who prefer to steer away from caffeine or anything like that still get more benefit than without it. What about like raspberry ketone that's in the media quite a bit? Why would they put that into this product? Again, that's also got an antioxidant uh, benefit, but it's another thing that works in concert with all of them. It's kind of like um, if anyone's even training and they're um, thinking about lifting a weight and it's getting too heavy, you can barely move it and someone comes on, they call it like spotting, when someone gives you assistance to move it. It's just another small ingredient that though with a little bit of assistance can allow you to achieve that final result. So used all in com combination, these guys are more or less, I'm trying to think of anything they haven't banged in there. I'm really, I'm really struggling. I pretty much think these so guys take the one. box that it's all in there. So long as it's not a And stimulant. it is tasty. Like we tried it out. It's yeah. They've yeah. done well. Usually you have to compromise. You usually get a, a good efficacy amount of ingredients in there like this, and there's an offset with taste, and it's a hold your nose experiment. Yeah, tastes pretty good. Like I'm using this um, in the chocolate flavor at the moment, and any of you guys who have got a sweet tooth, you can definitely use it as a snack late at night before you go to bed, and um, mm. it's definitely a good low carb option. And, uh, and help will help with that recovery process as well while you're asleep. Yeah, you know? the bedtime. Who doesn't want to burn fat in their sleep? I know <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much, Thanks, Maya. Maya. I um, think that covers that off. Oh, I just got one more quick question. So mm -hmm. you can definitely stack these two together with the Rip Freak pills, yeah? I do. Yes, yep. do it. It's better. There's a whole combination of the family that you can use when and how it'll fill the gaps. We'll get on to them next. Cool. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.